receiving the award for worst baby. It's the baby from American Sniper. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Uh, yes. How you doing? Yes, I am the baby from American Sniper. Let me just ugh, get up here. All right. Hi, I am the baby from American Sniper. If you don't remember who I am, check out that screen. Oh, there I am. Yes, I was the baby you all were freaking out about, about how weird and fake I looked. All right. You know, it, it, American Sniper, had the top box office of the entire year, multiple Academy Award nominations. And yet, all you people could do was talk about what a weird fake baby I was, and how I just looked like I was like bought from a dollar store, and how creepy it was when Bradley Cooper just kind of moved his finger. Just make my arm move. <laughs> goo goo gaga. But let me tell you something. I was just a victim of Clint Eastwood in his directing style. It's a little something he calls the Eastwood 50-50, all right? 50% 50 of your movie is total fucking garbage, all right? Then the other 50% is just kind of okay. And then you think that the whole movie was a really great film, just like American Sniper, which was a piece of shit, all right? But you all fell victim to it, goo goo ga ga. I mean, did you not notice that it just had crazy shifts in tone the entire film? It's like half of it was like kind of a progressive PTSD film about how war is terrible. Then all of a sudden, Kyle would get like a, an itch that could only be scratched by going back to war. And then when they were back at war, it was like a weird action film all of a sudden. It was like Die Hard 7, live free or die sniping. <laughs> this is fucking bullshit. And, and, and speaking of crappy looking, you know, I wasn't the only crappy looking thing. Those action scenes look terrible. They look like they were produced by a Lifetime producer. All right? You know, it'd be like a Lifetime movie with like a lot more sniping and a whole bunch more racial epithets being thrown around. Well, I mean, you know, Lifetime movies do have a surprising amount of sniping in them and racial epithets. But, no matter! And, and I'm not even going to get into the problematic narrative that they kept pushing that we definitely should have gone into the Iraq war because of 9-11. Let's not even talk about that. No, let's talk about this. Uh, I'm a weird fake baby. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, again, I was just a victim to that 50-50. The thing is, the baby, all right, is the coup de grace of the Eastwood style, okay? Every time a Clint Eastwood movie gets terrible, you will always find a fake baby. Go back, watch those other Eastwood films. Mystic River, when Sean Pinto's going, oh my daughter, oh I can't believe she died. It gets really weird and melodramatic. You'll see a fake baby in the background, all right? Jersey Boys, oh God. The moment that you realize that it's just a bunch of terrible songs sung by terrible people making you feel nostalgic for a time you don't give a fuck about, you'll see a fake baby singing with that band. Oh, and Unforgiven? No, well, he fucked up on Unforgiven. That's a wonderful film. 100% gold. Million Dollar Baby, fake babies everywhere, though. Non-stop. Keep a discerning eye, and you will see that fake baby. It's fine, though. You know, ugh. <laughs> I'm hoping, though, to continue this trend of fake baby for the next year. I'm actually got a part in Clint Eastwood's new film, Sully. It's about Captain Sully Sullenberg, the heroic captain who landed a plane on the Hudson River. And right at that moment when you start to think to yourself, wait a second, isn't that captain just kind of doing what his job is, landing a plane? That's when you look in coach and you'll see me, a fake baby, just standing there going, <laughs> goo goo gaga. But don't get me wrong, American Sniper really fucking suck balls. Good night, all. Good night.